It's Diddy Kane. I'm back today with another video. Shout out to you for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, do me a favor and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. Guess what, baby? Hey, today is the day. Today is the day. We're going to get the clapping. Hey, baby, hey, I'm doing the giveaway today. So if you have entered into the raffle, we are going to be doing the giveaway between 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard time chicago time my best on the grind so i'm gonna do a live video on whoever win you're gonna get them dividends we're gonna cash out between however you want to do it baby so make sure you lock into that hey and if you are not inside of the raffle and you want to be inside the raffle you must go watch the two videos the video for monday and a video from wednesday get the cold words send a picture saying you subscribe to the email and give me your youtube name now the email address is cars and cribs raffle at gmail.com again let me say this is what you're gonna do you are gonna go inside the email you are gonna send the email to cars and cribs raffle at gmail.com in this email you are going to send a picture showing you subscribe to the channel the two cold words and you are also going to send your YouTube name so you can go out there and do your thing and if you want to get some of this change make sure you do that baby but in today's video we are going to do some Dolly Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. And of course, y'all already know, baby. Every time we do some Dolly orders, it's always some shenanigans usually, baby. So we have one great order. Well, I ain't gonna say it was great. We have one okay order, and then we have one that was absolutely critical. I just want y'all to know it was critical. Order number one, we got to pull up, get the job done. This one, we're gonna do an elliptical move. So, we're gonna move this elliptical from one room into the garage at the same house. So all we gotta do is go there, move it from the room to the garage. Now, I did talk to the guy and I asked him, are we gonna have to take the elliptical apart? He said, no, everything should be good. All that needs to be removed is one of the doors. So I said, hey, so are you gonna be moving the door? Cause we're not getting paid to remove the door. And he said, sure, he's gonna remove the door. So guess what, we're about to pull up his score and guess how much we can pay. $39. I got my game from a scholar. Hey, we can pull up right now and I'll holler. Let's go. Well, I'll start you out today with an easy one. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty easy, I think. Oh my God. I used to deliver these for my old job. I used to work for a place called Second Wind Exercise Equipment up in uh, Wisconsin. Uh -huh. So I know yeah, I know it's awkward. I got an experienced guy. I like that. You got it? Oh, you have a, a perfect setup for it right here, yeah. too. I'm gonna step back on the photo, yarn it off. Got that. We are good to go. Order number two. Guess what we about to do? Uh, we about to do that right there, baby. On Dolly, 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 Dolly. Yet again, we're trying to get these dividends and win. So as you guys can see, we're supposed to be moving a treadmill. We're supposed to be moving a treadmill 4.2 miles. One house to another house. I think he's selling it or something on uh, Facebook Market or something like that. 4.2 miles and we receive a payment of $80. Now, on the app, it says council will be removed to be easier to move. That's what it says right there. And I'm putting that right there so y'all can see it. That's exactly what it says, right? So it also says that there are no stairs, zero stairs. So let me tell you guys what happened. So we slide, we pull up, right? We get there. First off, when you get when you go in inside the house, you gotta walk up like five stairs, three or five stairs, something like that. I'll show you the patient. Okay. <laughs> Should be uh, pretty straightforward, I hope. I hope so too. Guess where we go? Down some more stairs to go get the treadmill. So once we walk down the stairs, my business partner like they said there wasn't no stairs. So I'm like, okay, let's just see what's going on. So I'm thinking that possibly that he has a walkout basement where he can walk out the back door and we can slide and we can provide this treadmill to the next house. But guess what? When we get there, uh, nope. Best can't do it like me. It's a nice nope. house. Oh, thank you. Um, so. Then we get down there. I'm like, it's a bow flex. So sometimes bow flex uh, treadmills are not that heavy. So I'm like, okay, boom. If it's not that heavy, we can still do it. Even though it's stairs on here. Even though it's already stairs right here. I'm like, we make it do it if it ain't that bad. We get this $80 a week and holler. Guess what? We get down there. Guess what? The council is not removed at all. 
So now we stood in there waiting for him. Now he said, I need some, I need you to hold this up so I can get uh take uh, unloosen the screw and take it off because I didn't want it to fall off because I needed some help to do this and I need some help to do that. I'll say, okay, cool. So, so yeah, I need you guys to kind of hold this up and I'll unscrew the last bolt and that should just come off. This or the whole side? No, this just... this this piece here. Oh, the legs and all that. This is like okay. one piece. So hold the thing up, right? Guess what? When I'm trying to hold the thing up, he lost the Allen key. The Allen key that he was trying to use to loosen the screw up, he lost. I just had it last night. <laughs> he can't find it, he can't find it. He's scrambling all around, three, four minutes. Scrambling all around. He finally found it down the thing. So, after that, we picked up the heart, the, uh, we picked up the uh, the council. So it's the arms, it's like, it's like legs, arms, and then the council right here, right? So we picked that up. So yeah, you guys can just take this upstairs and then we can take, then you can take the other one upstairs. So guess what? We get there, try to take the joint upstairs and the council with the arms does not fit up the stairs because it's too wide. I don't know if it's gonna work this way because it's too wide. So I'm like, maybe we can L it. So we switched it. We put the uh, the bottom part so we can try to L it around the corner. Uh, nope, that didn't work either. It ain't gonna go like that. So now he trying to take some more stuff apart. Do you need to take these arms off, maybe? So I'm like, this is just taking too long now. You're doing too much, baby. You said that everything was supposed to be ready already, so he's supposed to get this joint and move and groove. So he's like, well, since we can't get this done, then how about you just guys just take the base part up, which is the extra treadmill that you run on, take the base part up, and then after that, we can, uh, I can take the other part over there later on after I untake it apart and everything. I'm like, okay, so you're just gonna leave this piece here or you're just gonna take the bottom piece? I would just take the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Leave that here temporarily and I'll figure out a way to get the arms off so we can move it. It just get worse and worse as this story go on. So, when you try to move a folding treadmill, if you do not have a strap on there, because they come out of the box with a strap on it. It's like a big yellow strap around there, so it all stays in one thing. Guess what? He don't have the strap no more because he already been using the treadmill. So now, whenever you try to, if I try to lift it up, and my business partner try to lift it up, guess what? The thing gonna flop out. It's gonna flop out like an L because it's supposed to be lifted up and moved to where you need to be moved to. So it's a photo treadmill, which means it's gonna be harder. But I did bring the strap with me. So I brought the strap with me so we can strap that joint in, and just in case it was, strap it down so it can hold in one part. Guess what? That joint was way too heavy. Me and my business partner could not take it upstairs. We was gonna try it, we was gonna do it. First off, I knew it was a red flag when he said that he was going to take the other part later. Guess what? What's gonna happen when Dolly said that we ain't bring the other part? They ain't gonna wanna pay us. So now we gotta worry about you and you already janky already. You supposed to have the stuff done, you ain't got it done. You ain't got none of the stuff ready. You got screws and stuff flopping all around on the floor. It's just a disaster in this house. So. What we end up doing was letting him know this. On the app, it, it says no stairs. Well, you're delivering to no stairs. Well, it says no stairs. It's supposed to say no stairs. Like this one doesn't say any stairs, and this one doesn't say any stairs. Yeah, I know where you're delivering it to has no stairs, but he should have told you that there was it was five steps down. I didn't. I don't know why he didn't. I didn't set the arrangement, so. No, I understand. He didn't. So what do you need to, to get it up the stairs? Um, First off, we need some more help to lift it, because I thought it was going to come straight out of our room and then go right out of the door. We just had one, we just went right out the door. Yeah. But the stairs, it, it didn't say any stairs on here. So now it's like putting us in a, in a harder predicament because I gotta have somebody else instead of bringing her. So, yeah, I understand. Um, I don't know, boy, I don't have to tell you. I mean, if you guys want to re redo it, I mean, I could certainly, you know, make arrangements, but I mean, you're here. I don't know if you need somebody else. So can you get it up the stairs though? Because the deck should come up, the bottom piece. The deck. The, that's, you, that's the bottom, the, the treadmill itself, right? Yeah, what do you mean it should, it should come up? What I mean, mean? It, it, it was put down there in that size, yeah. so it should, should, should come back No, up. yes, yes, and it I can. it was a two-man team that did it before. So I'm not sure, it's been several years. Yes. Um, yeah. But, so what do you what do you want to do then? Um, we're probably gonna have to cancel it. Someone else gonna have to come out, or I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Now I know, I know, I know. You wonder why? Well, why did you bring your business partner if you knew she couldn't lift it? Da, 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 this and all of that. Guess what? It was supposed to have no stairs. We had the four wheel cart, and I brought it with me. I brought a four wheel cart because all we had to do was turn it on this side, put a cover. I brought a cover too. Put the cover under there and slide that joint right out the house. If it had no stairs, but it did have stairs, and then he wants to carry up them stairs, and he's talking about, uh, well, they said it's going to be no stairs at this drop-off location. That ain't what the thing said. And then he, and then he said that he ain't even the one that did the thing. So how do you know what it said? How do you know what the, what the order said? Then you ain't the one that put it in. Maybe you did not tell the person that's buying it that it was stairs at the house. I don't know what happened, baby. But it ain't got to do with me. We actually had to cancel that joint. So instead of that eighty dollar holler, we end up making. 
fifty-one dollars. I know I got my game from a scholar. Every time, a lot of times when we do these, um, these dot in, hold on, wait, remember what? Rewind and rewind. That first order that we did, guess what? After we moved the stuff, we all we did was lift that donut, put it on the cart, slid it right out, right around the corner, slid it right in the garage, put it right there. Now the guy wants us to help him move this dresser from by his bed to on the other side. I'm gonna start charging y'all people. People be wondering. Why do you be acting like that? Why you should you could have did that for a little cheaper? You could have you could have uh, you didn't have to charge them that much for that. As many times as people can, they will try to take advantage of you every time. They gonna try to finesse every single time, baby. If you allow them to finesse, they gonna try to finesse. But it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. We gonna get this money, and sometimes we can't. Do not forget. If you have not put your entry in for the raffle, you might want to do it, baby, because you have three till so three p.m. today. Three p.m. today is going down. It's over with. Then we are going to do the raffle between 5 and 7. I'm not sure what the time is going to be, but either way go. Y'all know we're going to get busy, and I can't wait for y'all to get them cheese and get them G's. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it tomorrow, because it's going back down, because we ain't playing around. Because 2023 is big bag season. We'll keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know the DDK, and I'm on my way.